Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shah, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shah, Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawa Shah, Kahalayam Yahawa, Bahashim Yahawa Shah, Waha Raka Kodash, double honor to my teachers, the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone who always rule well and teach well, to my fellow laborers that's continuously prophesying this upcoming destruction of this wicked kingdom of America and bringing this good news of the coming of the only savior of the elect of the nation of Israel, Yahweh Shai, and all fear shall want. This is the brother Quanah from the GMS Birmingham Trumpet Camp, the church in Alabama. And the few brothers that's upon the face of the earth that understand this truth, all right, and accept Yahweh Shai as our Lord and our savior, all right, and understand to go out and do the work. All right, we are we are being made alive. We are uh, uh, alive. All right, we are in the light. All right, and the rest of the people in the world are in the darkness. All right, which which makes them a part of the congregation of the dead. All right, or we live. All right, because we are alive, we live among the walking dead. All right, the heathen nations. All right, they are the walking dead. Number one, the so-called white man, all right, which their biblical nationality is what? Esau Edom, all right, or a modern-day Edomite, all right, or so-called white man, all right, and also two-thirds of our own people, all right, because they refuse to receive this doctrine. They refuse to receive this truth. They refuse to come back to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai through his son Yahweh Shai. Therefore, by default, all right, they are what? The walking dead, man. All right, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 21, and verse 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. And that's right. Any any person uh, that, that's not in this truth, all right, any person, number one, uh, our own people, all right, which two-thirds of our own people, we consider them as another nation now. We call them two-thirds, all right? two-third Israelites, all right? They are the walking dead, man, all right? Because they're not walking in this light. They do not want to accept Yahweh B'ashim Yahweh Shai. The rest of the heathen nations, they are the walking dead, all right? And we, being in this light, like I said, and we accept, all right, this light, we are the only ones that's really, really alive on this planet, all right? This is the book of uh, John chapter 1. In verse, in verse 4. It's the book of St. John, chapter 1, and verse 4. In him was life. And who's that him? Our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah. And the life was the light of men. All right? So we, we have that light. All right? Because we accept our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah. Verse 5. And the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended not. All right? That's two thirds, two thirds of our people. Number one, and the rest of the heathen nations, man. All right, they don't, they are not built to get this truth. All right, which means they are not built to be a part of the living. We are the living. All right, which we are in the light. We understand the light. We accept it, accept the light. All right, which is the life, which gives us life. Should I say? All right. And they are in the darkness, man, which makes them the congregation of the dead, which makes them the living dead, man, or, or, or the walking dead. You know, we've seen the horror flicks, all right? But this is a, a, a real live uh, reality horror flick, if you want to call it that, all right? Seeing through the eyes, all right, of, of someone that has the truth or someone that understands the truth, all right? We are the only ones that's alive, man, and these people are dead. All right, this this is the book of uh, book of Ephesians, all right, chapter two, and verse one, and it reads, "And you have he quickened." All right, and that's and that's and that's the uh, the men here at Great Millstone primarily starting with our head apostles on down to the elders in the Akim. We have been quickened. All right, we have been made alive. The word quickened means to be, to to be to exist. All right, or to be made alive. All right, and 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 he, all right, is who Yahweh shot by him supping with us. All right, uh, uh, the scriptures say what? Uh, now ye are cleansed through the words. All right, roughly paraphrasing. All right, uh, Ephesians two and one again. And you have he quickened 
who were dead in trespasses and sins. All right, so we once were a part of that uh, 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 walking dead, that congregation of the dead, because we were we wasn't in the in, in the light. All right, we wasn't in the way of understanding. All right, we was being deceived. All right, by 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 Esau Edom, which is the modern day white man. All right, but but thanks to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. All right, we are not uh, 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 a part of the dead anymore. All right, it reads Ephesians two and one again, and you have He quickened. Who were dead, who were dead in trespasses and sins, all right? Verse 22, all right? And we know sin, all right, is what? Tr uh, transgression against the laws, statutations, and commandments of the Most High, all right? Which which, which we all uh, have sinned, all right? And I mean, we all, the whole nation of Israel had sinned, all right? But us uh, now are being made alive and being, and being quickened. Why? Because we are coming back, all right? To our senses, we are coming back to our true power through the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Verse 2, Ephesians 2 and 2, where in times past ye walked, okay, where in times past we walked according to the course of this world, Christianity, all right, being just a regular nigga, all right, didn't know that we was Hebrew Israelites, didn't know the name of our true power, which is Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah, all right. Where in time past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, see, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, all right, which are the children of the dead, all right, the children that's in the congregation of the dead, all right, the 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 the, uh, the living dead or the walking dead, man, all right, disobedience, and what that leads to, death, man, all right, you're gonna be dead on this side, and then you're gonna taste. Uh, the second death, all right? We being the only ones, all right, that's alive, like, like the scriptures say, we being in the light, we are the only ones that's alive on this planet, man, and we walk amongst the living dead, all right? This is um, this is the book of uh, the book of Romans, all right? Chapter 8, and uh, verse 6, and it reads, For to be carnally minded is death, all right? So we, we, we're around carnally minded people every day, man, whether it's at your job, all right? Like I said, whether it's somebody that you run across, all right, uh, at the gas station or, or somebody that you have to see every day but you don't associate with them, all right? But they, they're, they're, they're carnal minded, man. People, number one, two-thirds of our people, man, all right, all the scoffers and scorners that buck up against this true doctrine, all right? All the two-thirds of our people that don't want to receive Yahweh Shah, man, and receive this truth. All right? Romans 8 and 6, for, for to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. All right? We are made alive now. All right? And, we, and, and we're going to, uh, uh, and through us being made alive now, we're going to receive that peace, which is the kingdom, which is our rest, man. All right? Which is, which is New Jerusalem. All right. Why? Because we are spiritually minded. All right. And not carnal minded. All right. Verse seven, because the carnal mind is empathy against the most high. All right. It separates you from the most high for it is not subject to the law of the most high. Neither indeed can be. All right. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please the most high. If you cannot please the most high, you are dead. All right. 